how to get anything you want, I've got a really simple framework and way I think about it, right? Step one, what do you actually fucking want? First step, what do you actually want? Like, most people actually struggle with this, which I find weird to, like, get my head around. But most people, they don't actually know what you want. So how the fuck are you going to know what to do, how to get it, if you don't actually isolate and think about what do you fucking want? And the thing is, right, this is not a rehearsal. Life, you've got one fucking hit at it. You have not got as much time as you think you have. We're all on borrowed time. We're all going to fucking die one day and be forgotten about. So you've really got to educate yourself and go, what do you actually want out of this? Because I think it's just a waste of life to get to the end of your life and think, fuck me, I don't really do much. What a waste. What, what, what a waste of time. I think everyone wants to get on their deathbed and be, fuck me, I hit that fucking hard boy. Fucking spot on. So, with that in mind, what is it that you want? Like, what do you actually want out of your own life? And to make that easier, the way I look at things, I think a really nice, easy way to look at it is go, look, anything in your life is always going to come down to, one, money. You are going to need money for anything. Some people have got bullshit things about money and hang-ups about it or whatever. But look, if you want to look after your kids, if you want to look after your family, you're going to need money to be able to do that. If you want to be able to do things, you want healthcare, you want great stuff, great stability in your life, it's going to come back to money first. So that's what I mean by that, money. So then how much money do you actually want? Like, Have you ever actually sat down and thought, right, this is how much money I would like to earn every year? Regardless of where you are now, whatever situation you're in now, because there are good times and bad times, don't get me wrong, but just now, isolate yourself and go, right, where do I actually want to be in terms of my finances? How much do I actually want to earn? How much do I actually want to invest? How much like, assets do I actually want? Um, what different pies do I want in my life that's going to give me the satisfaction and the setup to be able to do what you want with your life? Because it's always going to come back to money first, all right? So money bucket one. Think of that. How much money is that for you? What, what do you actually need to fucking get? Then the next thing is like what the different elements of your life. So a big, big important part of that is your, your fitness, your health, how you look. And like for you, do you look do you look at yourself in the mirror? Are you happy? If you're not happy, it's obviously that's not what you want. So what do you want? Like how do you want to look? How do you want to come across? How do you want to feel? How do you want to like uh, what fitness do you want to have? Like what level do you actually want? Because I can guarantee no one ever sat down as a kid and said, you know what? When I grow up, I want to be skin fat, miserable, pisshead, and fucking smell with shit teeth. No one's ever, ever going to fucking say that. Ever. It's ne- like no, no kid is going to dream that shit up. So think of it like that. How much, like, what, what sort of level of fitness and health do you want? How do you actually want to look? How do you want your appearance to fucking look? Because the thing is, right, everyone says, I oh, should never judge a book by its cover. But everyone fucking does. Everyone judges. The first time you meet someone, it's human nature to go, fucking hell, look at the state of that cunt. Or, fucking hell, he looks good. He's a decent geezer. He looks good. Do you know what I mean? So consider that as well and then consider what what people do in your life what decent people do in your life what type of people do you want fucking moaners in your life do you want fucking really hungry driven people that are going to push you and move you forward in your life what does that fucking look like start looking and addressing all these different types of things all right and then that will start guiding you going right what do i actually want where do i want to be what sort of house do i want to live in what sort of car do i want to drive what sort of day-to-day life do i want to have and exist in Rather than just going through the days, getting, you know, trying to get to Friday, fucking living like a hero for the weekend and then dreading Monday and all this types of shit, right? You get to a point of going, what do I actually want my life to look like? Now, look, when I say this, no one's going to have a fucking perfect life. There's always going to be struggles in life. That is fucking life. I'm just talking about as a whole bigger driver, what the fuck do you want? Because once you've isolated, right, that is what I want, then it's like, well, who has already got that? It's not some miracle, great, fucking massive thing you're going to think of believe it or not 99.9% of us are not going to be the next Jeff Bezos or fucking Elon Musk or fucking Richard Branson that's going to come up with some like massive idea or we're not gifted with like massive brain power to come up with some new shit that no one's ever thought of before it's just who has already done it that's like the next few runs above from you who, who is that person that's that's the person you want to fucking isolate and and find Go, right, this is what I want. That's the person that's already got what I want. 
and then you find out what they did and do what they did. That's it. That's a simple framework, simple, easy model of getting what you want. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. Don't try and do a bit of this and a bit of that. But if you don't know at the very beginning what you actually want, you cannot find the person that's already done it and you can't do what they did. But once you get to that point and if you just do what they did to get where they got to, it's, it's, it's done. It's a done deal because like action causes like results. You know, you're not trying to do anything clever. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel. You're just going, right, that guy is fucking sound. He's fucking done this. I want to be in that spot. What did you do? You might have to pay that person. That's the price of it. You might have to pay that person to find out what he did. But it'll save you so much time. And you'll fucking get there and, and, and really understand it and, and get your head around it and just go, right, okay, that's what I need to do. That will achieve X. And that is the simplest, easiest way to get what you want. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, okay, this makes a bit of sense, you need to sit the fuck down, spend some time on your own, go, right, what do I actually want? And just list out all the different elements of your life and go, that is what I want from all of that. That's the cost of it. That's what it's going to take. Who do I know? And you might not know that person yet. You might not know that person who's got what you want, but then your brain is switched on to going, right, you're looking for that person, you're trying to find that person. And then when you see them, bang, you're in, get into it and ask them, what did they do? How did you get to that point? And then do what they did. Done.